Hello, my name is Matt McDermott, and welcome to my final presentation for Advanced Spanish at Finger Lakes Community College, Fall Semester 2012. My final presentation is on Spanish art, Spanish art ranging from the 16th century to the 20th century. Prior to studying Spanish art this semester, the only real depth of art knowledge that I had was the French Impressionists of the late 19th century and early 20th century. So to delve into the Spanish art from the 16th century to the 20th century was something new to me and something that I ultimately found extremely impressive and, uh, and interesting, both in the style of art and the progression of styles through those five centuries, and also in the personalities that painted. Throughout these five centuries, there is a evolution of Spanish art that can be seen, and today we will look at that evolution through four different painters. Pablo Picasso, um, Juan Miro, Salvador Dali, all from the 20th century, and Bartolomé Esteban Mario from the 17th century. <clears throat> Much of the 16th, 17th, and 18th century, Spanish art depicted religious figures and re religious uh, happenings, as well as landscapes. Um, it wasn't until the 19th century that Spanish art became more romantic, um, along with the rest of... Europe's artistic movement towards Romanticism. And in the 20th century, Spanish art became much more abstract with um, strong movements in Surrealism and Cubism, two movements that were heavily influenced by Spanish artists. After studying Spanish art for the better part of a semester, it occurred to me that I had never seen original Spanish art in my life. So, in order to experience firsthand Spanish artwork, I traveled to the nearest museum that had a considerable amount of Spanish art, which happened to be the Wadsworth Anthenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut. In the following minutes, I will take you with me on a small road trip I took to the Wadsworth Anthony. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a mi presentación final. En este momento estoy manejado uh, de la ciudad de Green Island, Nueva York, a uh, Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, ¿Por qué? Porque hay un museo a uh, Hartford que se llama Wadsworth Anthony y hay mucho arte español en este museo. Uh, hoy vamos a ver este arte español. Vámonos. Hi, uh, welcome to the Wadsworth Anthony. Here we are in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, interest, interestingly enough, it's the oldest muse public museum in the United States of America, built in 1824. Um, a beautiful structure, as you can see, very castle-like. Um, so tonight, we are gonna go in and um, look at some Spanish artists. There are uh, four particular Spanish artists we're gonna look at. First and foremost, Pablo Picasso. There are a few Picassos in there, um, as well as Salvador Dali and Juan Miro, as well as Bartolome Esteban Mario. So uh, it's very, four of the very influential um, Spanish artists uh, from different time frames. We'll talk about it once we're in there. But uh, here we go. The first Spanish artist that we saw at the Wadsworth Anthenaeum was Bartolome Esteban Mario. Born in 1617 in the small village of Pilas, 
Spain. Mario was known as one of the most famous and influential Spanish artists prior to the 19th century. Mario was most famous for his religious paintings, as he was <clears throat> very often commissioned by the church to paint different portraits of clergymen, as well as depicting scenes from the Bible. Later in his career, he started to paint uh, sceneries from his hometown, Pilas, and of peasants in everyday life. Here we have St. Francis Xavier, painted in 1670 by Murillo. It is one of, the, uh, one of his more famous paintings, depicting St. Francis Xavier, a Spanish saint who led vast missions into Asia and more notably India. One of St. Francis Xavier's um, largest accomplishments was spreading and maintaining the Catholic faith in India in the mid-16th century. I must note that while the Wadsworth Athenaeum does have this painting, St. Francis Xavier, it was not on display when we took our road trip. Unfortunately, it was in storage because there was a festival of the Christmas trees that was placed in the room where St. Francis Xavier is usually on display. Next, we have one of the most famous and influential artists of the 20th century, let alone Spanish artists of the 20th century, Pablo Picasso. Born in Malaga in 1881, Picasso is known for being one of the most innovative Spanish artists of all time. Along with French painter Georges Braque, Picasso was known as one of the founding fathers of Cubism. Cubism was a way of art that was extremely innovative for the time, the 19, uh, 1910 to early 1920s was when it began by Braque and, and Picasso. A type of artwork that looked at an object from many different perspectives, took all of those different perspectives broke them up and put the pieces and perspectives of the object back together again in a distorted fashion. At the Wadsworth we were able to see three different paintings of Pablo Picasso as well as a series of sketches. His first painting seen here is Artist and Muse painted in 1935 and is a perfect example of Pablo Picasso's Cubism. It's easy to see the amount of abstract art that Picasso put into Cubism. And here with Artist and Muse we can see the different body parts and objects within the artist's perspective taken apart and then reordered in a different order. Next we have the painter. Another classic example of Picasso's Cubism was painted in 1934. The last Picasso painting that I was able to see was painted in 1963, an artist. Yet another example of Picasso's Cubism. While the Wadsworth does have this 1922 painting, The Bather by Picasso, I was not able to see it as it was in storage due to the Christmas tree festival.
The following sketches are from Picasso, whose dates range from 1903 to 1926. All of these sketches were in preparation for larger paintings that he was to produce. Salvador Dali was born in 1904 in Figueres, Spain, and is one of the most famous and well-known Spanish artists of the 20th century. He played an integral part in the development and founding of Surrealism, an artistic movement that began in the 1920s that featured different elements of surprise and unexpected positioning of objects within a painting. Well known for his artwork, he was also very well known for his eccentric behavior and his very unique mustache. The Wadsworth had Dali's 1938 painting, Apparition of Face and Fruit Dish, on a beach. This painting aptly depicts how extreme and abstract surrealism can be. The last Spanish artist that I was able to see was Juan Miró. Born in 1893 in Barcelona, Miró used both surrealism and cubism throughout his career. Here we have Miro's dream painting, painted in 1925, and is one of about a hundred paintings that he painted in this series between 1922 and 1927. Miro was known to be very extreme in the measures he took towards his abstract painting. Within this series of dream paintings, Miro would starve himself to the point of hallucination when hallucinating, he would paint what he saw, resulting in these spots and shapes that you see throughout the canvas. This 1933 painting by Miro, entitled Painting, was much like the Dream Painting series. After 1928, Miro did not sign a vast majority of his paintings, but he would form shapes within his paintings to depict the letters of his initials, J.M. In this painting, we can see a J in the top left corner of the canvas, very abstractly, and an upside-down M in the center of the painting, towards the top. Unfortunately, both of these Miro paintings were also storage casualties of the Christmas tree festival, so I was unable to see them. So that concludes our trip to the Wadsworth Anthony in, in Hartford, Connecticut. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I, am, I must say, from my own personal perspective, to be in the same room and to be able to lay eyes upon the very canvas that Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali and Miro and Mario, um, such influential Spanish artists, uh, to lay eyes on the canvas that they worked on was, um, was very memorable and for me once in a lifetime. Um, and as I said, I hope you enjoyed the trip and, and the short presentation. Adios.